So as we're building out this new product at Maven, I have a component library that I'm using, pretty standard stuff. You'll see a lot of pages that probably look familiar and things that you'd expect to see, right? The one thing that I did up front that has really paid dividends is I created a layout component, which actually I'm calling template. And I have two breakpoints that I'm worrying about right now, which is just web and mobile. And you'll see all I'm doing is really just aligning the core organisms that constitute my layout and then defining the area that my page content is going to fill. And so all this is here is I have a sidebar, header, and then I do have a template content component, which we could follow over here, which is really just a giant slot component. And I'll talk a little bit more about that in a second. Same thing for mobile. Everything I need is ready to go right in here. You'll notice that I have the template content component set to vertical scrolling because what I'm basically going to do is, let's say I jump into a new page here. The first thing I'm gonna do is just insert my template. And now right away I have everything that I need so I don't have to insert the sidebar and then insert the header, which is great because I can save time that way. But more importantly than that, in the early days where we're still kind of figuring things out, I don't wanna to have to make the same tweak many, many times. Let's say that I shrink the width of my sidebar or perhaps my header changes height or we realize that we want a different amount of margin between these two pieces of content or something like that. If I made that change, I would have to go through every single file, every single instance, and make those updates. And so now what I've done is given myself a single source of truth right here where I can make any changes and have those automatically ripple throughout my entire organization. The other thing though is that it makes it really easy for me to get a sense for what I'm actually designing each time. I have this template content component here, uh, which is a slot component. I don't have to use it that way. And I've kind of been going back and forth. Sometimes it actually makes a lot of sense for me to just go here, 992. And then I could make this a component and then fill it with stuff like a calendar. And then all I'd have to do is replace this with component. And now I'm only designing what matters on the page and nothing else. And that can be really, really valuable. There are also some times where maybe that would feel a little bit more rigid than I want, which is totally okay. And so another thing that I've been doing is simply decreasing the opacity. Actually, I'm going to control Z here keeping my template content, just decreasing the opacity and then just drawing over it. And now I have a little playground to play in. All I have to do is select both of these. I can go command option G to turn it into a new frame. And I have, there we go. I have my page content. And now I can throw all kinds of things in there and all I have to do is make sure that everything in here is set to fixed. Because I don't want this stuff to scroll. I already have my sidebar scrolling action and the page content scrolling action set. And I want my header to be fixed. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to fix the template. And then I'm going to fix the page content. Put the page content on top of the template change this to vertical scrolling, make sure we're clipping the content. And then as I add things here, like so, let's say I have an events row. Now, as long as this is set to vertical scrolling, I can come in here, hit play, which I just realized it's not going to take me to the right place. Cool. And now I can scroll all of this content 
like normal. You wouldn't even be able to tell that there's actually a component behind the scenes. And so this way I get all the benefits of my layout where I still have complete flexibility to do whatever I want in this page content. And so anytime that I am now starting a design, I'm just going shift I template. If it's mobile, I'll change it. And then I'm ready to work. And it's awesome. I highly recommend investing in this upfront. Another thing then too is this is going to be really helpful for engineering as well. Because if you can create that same source of truth, these same set of knobs to turn to make changes, this can be a great starting point for engineering as well. Because then they're just simply reusing that template. You have all of this shared logic and understanding and it's going to work really well. So I wanted to make a quick video to show how I'm using this. It's paid a ton of dividends already and I highly recommend it.